SpongeBob! Uh, but Patrick, I'm right here. I'm trying to draw SpongeBob. I never get to do things in this style. Maybe a little bit creepy. Everyone draws a little bit differently, and that's what's fun. Are you taking this art class too? The all time favorite SpongeBob episode for me is just the first episode with the amazing Tiny Tim song. Oh, having a wonderful time. Yeah. <laughs> For SpongeBob, I'm, I'm excited about just getting the texture of the sponge and doing something really realistic. Maybe a little bit creepy, but uh, having some fun with it. I want to make it a lot sketchier and um, toss it up and stretch it out a little bit and kind of deviate from the clean lines. Aw, oh, look at him. Ain't he a doll? All he needs is a tie. Ready for action! I want to try to push it in my world, which is cartoon, <laughs> and push it in my own sort of way. <laughs> my art style is very inspired by a guy named Junji Ito, so I was thinking of doing something within his realm of like kind of crazy, lots of swirls, twisty tongue maybe. Too. I'll find something that will tap into your particular artistic skill set. Hi, I'm Pinky. I'm a storyboard revisionist on SpongeBob SquarePants. So SpongeBob, you see, he is a rectangle. He does have a little bit more shape than just your typical rectangle because he can bend. So when I'm drawing him, even when he's standing still, he does have a little bit of action to him. He does have a certain number of holes and ridges, and that's one of the things that keeps him on model. You? are the teacher to my pupil? This is an art class. It's heaven. I feel like I just hear you just going clunk, 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 clunk. Uh, yeah, it's clunk, 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 clunk. I'm, I'm curious about your process, Rose, about how you're uh, building yours up. Uh, at this stage, I always um, am really loose. I want it to kind of like phase in and I'm not focusing on details yet because there are a lot of layers I'm gonna go over and over and over. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of focusing in on the texture. So I'm laying down a bunch of gradients of different shades of pencil and I'm gonna use my erasers and go in and do some negative mark making to create the texture of a sponge and kind of play up the creepy realism of the face. So obvious, I would have never thought of that. So right now I'm just kind of like penciling, like sketching it out and uh, getting all the like little detail that I know that I kind of want to get in and uh, making sure things kind of look good. And then I'm just gonna go in and you know, kind of like ink it with just a regular pen. I'm trying to draw a SpongeBob sponging around and I'm, I'm, I'm transitioning out of pencil phase into ink phase. And I got this like fountain pen. It's gonna be great, especially when the color gets in there. Oof, wait till you see. One of the easiest things to notice is someone draws SpongeBob without experience and they just litter him with holes all over the place. So I think as long as you can finish the drawing, it'll look like SpongeBob. If you can color him the way he's colored and finish him up, it's SpongeBob, you know? It, every, everyone draws a little bit differently and that's what's fun is just interpreting things different ways. What the? <laughs> God. Oh, yeah, you gotta make sure you get that shark. Right oh, no, that'll, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. yeah. We'll have to fight Doodle with Doodle. Uh, I made a stencil of a circle to create this kind of very pseudo religious iconography with SpongeBob and his <laughs> snail Gary. And so this glue is uh, called fish glue, and the gold leaf will adhere to it. If you have to be incredibly delicate, if you breathe too hard on it, it'll all blow away. No one make him laugh. <laughs> so I think it's about as thick as a strand of hair. Oh! oh! No, I want some of that. We should have slow moved that. Make it rain. Put Come it on your gold spec. There you go. There's, there's your bob. <laughs>
That was my drum roll. SpongeBob SquarePants. As I see it, he's a sponge, so where's the water? Although I get, he, he's underwater, but I want to see the water come out of him. I don't know. I just, you know, he's so porous. So yellow and porous is he. Well, I saw a picture of SpongeBob playing his cheeks open and a goofy smile. So I just kind of wanted to do it, do that, but with, you know, just make it a little more crazy and a little, little darker, maybe. Patrick? Yeah? I think we overdid it. I picked this pose because it's very intense. Oh man, that's amazing. I had a lot of fun. I never get to do things in this style, so it was super fun. I really like the character design of this guy because, like, how often do you get to do these, like, cute little hands and little shoes, so. I had a great time. Yours is a sponge with a man's face on it. I love it. All right, so I did a very creepy rendition of a sponge with a man's face at SpongeBob, and <laughs> I gilded the drawing with a background of a gold leaf halo. It's very clean and uh, just creepy, which I'm all for. So I think uh, this drawing, I like the idea of it, but I gotta use a different pen. I used the wrong pen, throwing my game off, and this is this is what real life drawing is like. You just you just go like, all right, whatever, I'm gonna do a better one. <laughs>